Hi, I'm Lindy Witt and welcome to the studio. Today I'm going to do a quick demo, about 15 minutes, of a Tuscan wheat field. And what I want to do today is uh, talk about using contrast. If you want to make your paintings more interesting, punch up the contrast. So there's a couple of ways to do that. This is the photo reference I'm using. You'll be able to see that during the painting. I'm going for that big contrast between the yellow band of the wheat field and then the darker hills in the background with the trees and the dark shadow corn wheat fields in the foreground. Today's quick demo is a Tuscan wheat field. I'm going to uh, use two different techniques to provide contrast in our painting today. One is the contrast of making different marks on the paper and the other is the contrast of using a complementary background uh, against the main colour of the foreground. So here it's yellow gold, I'm using a blue to contrast with it. That will also help me get the darks here in the foreground and here in the tree line. I've laid out my palette over here. I have some pale blues and a little pale yellow for the sky. I've got some, uh, just move those slightly. I've got these darker greens and a, another couple of lighter colors for this area of the hills. And then this is the wheat fields, the main color with just a few touches of contrast in there and then I've got the most colours are laid out here for this foreground because there's the most detail in the foreground, which I will keep loose, but I want to get the coloured detail for contrast in there. I'll just zoom in and let's get painting. I'll start off by just putting in a hill line there, just to, just to remind me where I'm going. I'm just sketching that in with a, a harder, very dark green there. Let's come up a little bit there because that's where my focal trees are going to be on the horizon line and then I'm just going to put in another line down here which is for the, where the major tree line will go. So I've put in this line and this line and I don't really need to put in anything else at the moment uh, sketching wise. First I'm going to put in the sky and I quite like to just start off with a very light yellow, stroking it down. Yeah, I'm not worried that it's running a little bit into the hills there. So just a little bit of the yellow. Then I start with my palest blue. Almost white as is, you think, when you pick it up, but it actually is quite blue. Put that one in. Then I'm going for the next blue. And then a final darker blue for purpley sort of blue for up here. Now, because a lot of the dark blue background is showing through, I'm just doing that little quick blend with my fingertip. A fairly good blend, but I'm going to then go back into the sky. And what I'm doing here is crushing all those pastel crystals into the uh, pastel paper. It's a sanded pastel paper, so it's holding that quite well. But when I crush it, it crushes the facets of the pastel crystals and then you don't get so much light refracted from it so it loses its sparkle. I'm going to put that back in but I did want to cover most of that darker background with it in the sky so there we go. Now what I'm going to do is just go back in and do those layers again. There I go in with my pale yellow. My next blue is coming over it up into the sky. My next layer of blue goes over that and up even higher and then my last layer of blue just pops in over the top. So those trees going up into the skyline and I'm just doing that by jabbing. Because I'm doing this flat the pastel dust is not falling off the paper and I might actually have to end up um, picking it up and shaking it a bit. So the, the skyline is quite dark. I've got some very dark trees going in there but before I put them in I just want to put in a, a little sort of different colour to the, the trees. Just going to pop that in like so to make a little contrasting area where the, the focal trees are going to go. And on this reference you can see that there's some paddocks there, some fields. So I'm just going to pop in those fields in a little lighter colour than I will the rest of it 
and this one's a plough field over here so it's a little bit browner and I'm just going to put that in uh, and a couple of different greens in that in that field there so that's put my fields in I'm going to then just go back in here with a few uh, of a different colour green. This one is a more olivey green and that's because I'm dotting in some olive trees. Oops, some olive trees up here just below where those silhouette trees are going to be. Now I'm going to go, I've got a little bit of green on my sky there so I'm just flipping it out with my finger there. I'm going to put in the the silhouetted trees now and that those iconic kind of cypressy trees that you get in Tuscany so I'm just with the sharp edge of my pastel popping those in and then there's in amongst those there's some of those more umbrella-y shaped pines so I've got those in that's that's the silhouette of the hill there and then I'm going back in with uh, this one just to put in the, the rest of the trees there different greens just to give it a little bit of variety and you'll see that now I'm going back to the side of the pastel to pop those in and as I come further down along here along the edge of the wheat field the trees are quite in shadow so I'm putting in those darker areas just down at the edge of the wheat field there and they're quite dark We'll go all the way along the edge there with that and then I'll go back in with lighter on top where the sun's kind of catching it and this time I am still using the side but I've got a very short piece of pastel so it's making different kind of marks as I go round in the shape of the tree effect of the light on sort of dusk it's just coming into dusk and I'm getting some of those warmer evening colors on the top lighter areas of those trees and then going back in with quite a dark there again just for some of the, the bits Getting those tree masses in, I'll probably put in some little trunks there as well. They're, they're kind of backlit, so I'm just using the same really deep green that I've used for the shadowy area. I might go in with some, a little bit of a purple in there as well, just to add a little bit of warmth to the shadows. So just popping that a little bit of the purple in as well. And that again helps to break up the tree masses. Uh, down here on the paddock I just want to make it a little bit darker as it comes down to the edge there and I'm going to put along the, the edge of the paddock just some little shrubby bits there to break it up from the wheat field. So there we go. I've got the hill in, I've got the sky in and now I'm going to go for the wheat field and that, this is very easy. I'm just taking this very bright yellowy gold and dragging it across wide side dragging it right across there 
and it doesn't matter if it picks up a little bit of the the green out of the trees because that'll just green off that little area that's in slightly bit in shadow and I come down here and as I come down I turn it around and go uh, with it in this direction because you can't tell back here that the wheat's actually growing in that direction but as you get closer you can see the direction the wheat's growing and I want to to, to uh, suggest that and when I get down here I don't want it to be a regular edge I want it to be quite jagged and irregular because I'll be moving some of these I'll be moving some of these darker colors in I'll be moving some of those darker colors into it so let's just sit that sit that somewhere where you can see across the side there just going to keep dragging it down it's just the one color at this stage dragging it down and some of that blue is showing through and that's great that's that's what I wanted it for because it will suggest the the deeper shadows within the wheat field so I've done that with fairly broad strokes and now what I want to do is go back in with some other colors I've got a greeny color that I'm going in as we come to the foreground and I'm just using the tip the side of the tip there to stroke in some different colors coming up into the wheat field as it gets into shadow back here some of the greener colors coming through I'm just stroking that all the way through like that coming up into the, the gold of the field so I've changed you can see that I've changed the way I'm applying the pastels a number of different times through here here we keep going put a few more of those in make some of those lines thicker some of them thinner as the the leaves on the and the wheat stalks move around in the breeze as I'm coming down it's getting some ready colors in it too so I'm going to pop in some of those and they will contrast nicely with the the, the greens that I've just put in so I'm getting contrast from the complementary blue against the yellow gold and the co and complementary colors of green and reds here in the foreground I'm getting contrast from the dark blue background I'm getting contrast from the different strokes that I'm making I need to put in some quite dark wheat heads there too so I'm just taking this chip of purple and making just little pulling down just little jabby marks that are going to represent the wheat heads in they caught against the sunlight so there's being silhouetted and I'm going to get quite a few of those in there's one particular I want in and that will be uh, this one here that's the focal one over in the photo and I just want one of those but here I'm going to pop in a whole lot more down here that will just be a mass of As I come down here I'm going to put some of those stalks in, in the, the deeper colors too so I'll drag some of that purple down to make some of the stalks it's quite colorful in the foreground so I'm trying to catch some of those colors as well so I'll be going back in with this color and some of the leaves are sort of falling over a bit and making wider catching the light differently so I'm just again just quickly dragging my pastel down in the shape that the leaves are falling over and because I'm not using the tip so much with this draggy motion I get a wider um, dash of the color going on which is helpful in making those leaf shapes I'm just doing a few in the green as well and I'm happy if they overlap with some of the um, okri ones I've done and a little bit a few jabs of the, the very bright yellow still coming down into this foreground but, but not too much of it just the odd bit of color from that 
I've got a very dark green here, so I'm pulling that through as well as I get down closer to the... I'm actually going to allow quite a lot of the blue to stay coming through in this section of the painting. So I'm not going to try and cut, I'm just going to use the background there to, to simulate uh, the, the shadows. So I'm not going to cover it entirely with... And as I come closer here, I'm making those jabby strokes of the wheat thicker. come quite forward here. I just want to put some of the orangey, more orangey colours in there. So I'm just picking up a nice light and colourful bright colour to pop a few little strokes in there of that. I need to put the stalk of this wheat on here. So I've got a, a very sharp green here, Conte Pastel, and I'm just pulling down a oh, a weak stalk like a uh, stalk like that and I'm actually going to put a few of those in too because I don't want that to be the only color of, of that green the only stalk of that particular green so some of these other weeks are going to get a similar kind of greeny stalk otherwise it would just end up looking standing out too much so so put some of that that green in as well Uh, so now I've got the very dark foreground, but with little jabs of colour in there too. I'll put a few more as I very light ones in and pull a few of those up into the the golds up there as well. Just for now what I need at the very end here is the little wheat. straws on the head there on the ear of wheat so I'm just popping some of those in and I'll probably pop in a few little ones down here they won't show up terribly well but just a suggestion of them Just a few more wheat heads there just to draw that one in a little bit closer, a bit more context. And I want to just put around a sort of glow around the this particular ear of wheat so I've just used some of the uh, lighter color and then I'm going to go back into the middle of it with the darker one so there we have it that's my oops you know what I might do I just would like that to be slightly lighter so I'll just accentuate it a little bit there And I would like that to be just a little a little bit more colour on top of the the trees, the evening light. And there we have it, that is my Tuscan wheat field, about a 15 minute painting with all the contrast that you could want. Bye for now, see you next time. This is 
This is the final painting. Hope you enjoyed that demonstration of using different mark making techniques to give you different contrasts, the linears of the wheat stalks and the sweeping uh, flats of the sky and the distant wheat field contrast really well. And also the contrast between the dark blue background paper that I chose and that complementary colour of the gold yellow wheat field just sets up a good contrast as well. Thanks for joining me today. Bye for now and see you next time.